Okay, in this video we're going to do this question 14. Suppose you borrow $130,000 at 5% APR to buy a home. The term of your mortgage is 20 years. What will your monthly payment be? What percentage of your first month's payment will be interest? And how much interest will you have paid by the end of the loan? So let's start with the first problem. And uh, what will your monthly payment be? By all means, press pause and do that and then check the video for the answer. Okay, I'm going to help now. So, the first thing we've got to do is figure out what formula we need, right? So, it's got to be one of these. And what do we know and what are we looking for, right? So, we know the amount borrowed, we know this. 130,000, 30,000, right? And we want to find what will your monthly payment be. So is there a formula that takes the amount borrowed and calculates the monthly payment, maybe? Which one is that? Which formula takes the amount borrowed and calculates monthly payment? Is it this one? Or not? Why not? This one takes the monthly payment and calculates and then it gives you the amount borrowed, right? We already know the amount borrowed because we just borrowed 130,000. So we know this. We know the amount borrowed. We want to calculate the monthly payment, okay? So tell me what your, that's the form. We know the formula we need. It's, it's the monthly payment equals formula. It equals the amount borrowed, right? This one, amount borrowed times R. So 130,000 times R times um, one plus R to the power of T and all that. So can you figure out what R, one plus R and T are for this question? So, we're making monthly payments, so you're going to assume this is um, compounded monthly, right? So we, we need the um, monthly interest rate. So R is 0 0.05 over 12, which is... zero point zero zero four one six six seven. Okay, 1 plus R is 1.00. 41667 will do. And T, what's T? The amount of, so R is the monthly interest rate, T is the term of the loan or the number of monthly payments. How many monthly payments are we going to make? The term of the mortgage is 20 years, so that's 20 years times 12, 240 monthly payments, okay? So press pause and fill in the formula and see what you get. Okay, so I hope you've tried to calculate the monthly payment. Your formula should look like this. It's the amount borrowed um, times R times one plus R to the power of T over one plus R to the power of T and then subtract one. And uh, press pause and do this again if you haven't got the formula correct. So then calculate the top and bottom, press pause and calculate the top and bottom and see what you get. The top should look like this and the bottom should look like this, okay? So the top is 1469.347056, the bottom is 1.71264050502. Now calculate what that is and give it to the nearest cent. Calculate to the nearest cent, round to the nearest cent. So calculate that and then round it and you should get $857.94, right? Now, what percentage of your first month's payment will be interest? So press pause and see if you can figure this out. Okay, I'll try and help you now. So the thing is, the first month's payment is the same as 
every monthly payment because all of these monthly payments are comp are exactly equal okay the mortgage is set up so that you pay the exact same amount every single month okay now the only thing is that so the first month's payment is indeed eight hundred fifty seven dollars ninety four cent uh, I but I guess that's kind of beside the point because the fact of the matter is the bank has just given you a hundred and thirty thousand dollars at five percent APR so they they've invested in you and they want a return on their investment immediately and when you first take out a loan you owe a lot and so at the start of a, the at the start of the life of a of a loan there's a lot of money uh, that that is is lent out to you and that's earning interest and so the interest of a loan is very high at the beginning because there's a lot of money loaned out whereas towards the end of a loan the interest is tiny because the bank only owes you you only owe the bank like you know five thousand dollars I mean that's not gonna build as much interest as a hundred and thirty thousand dollars that's a lot of interest each month that the bank is getting okay so in any case the monthly interest rate is zero point zero zero four one six six seven or if you want to think about it it is um, zero point four one six six seven percent okay and what the bank wants is it wants 0 0.41 you know percent of the hundred and thirty thousand that they gave you and that's after the first um, at the end of first month okay at the end of month one at the end of the first month the bank wants this amount of interest on the hundred and thirty thousand so it's this decimal times one hundred and thirty thousand that's the interest that the bank's going to get in the first month okay and that amount is five hundred forty one dollars sixty seven cents about okay so what percentage of your first month's payment will be interest? Well, the amount is five hundred forty-one dollars sixty-seven cents. Now, what percentage of your first month's in payment will be interest? We have to take the to get the percentage. We have to take the interest and see how much of that is. Compare that to the. Um, uh, first month's payment. Now the first month's payment is the same as any month. Okay. So we get the interest of first month or the first month interest. Okay. And divided by the first month payment. Okay. So the interest of the first month is of course $541.67. The payment of the first month was $857.94 okay put that in the calculator and we get zero point six three one three six two etc which is as a percentage what's that move the decimal point two spaces to the right to get 63.1362 etc percent round that to two decimal places to round that to a decimal round that to a percentage with two decimal places and what do you have 63.14 percent okay so the percentage of the first month's payment that will be interest is the interest of the first month, which is this number out of the first month's payment, which becomes 63.14%. Okay. Now, how much interest will you have paid by the end of the loan? Can you do this one? How much total interest will you have paid altogether? Press pause and try that. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'll help you with it now. So we're going to pay this amount every single month for 20 years, 
right? How many payments of this are we going to make altogether? 240. 20 years times 12 months. So if I take this amount and multiply it by 240, that'll tell me how much I'm going to pay overall, right? Over the course of the loan. And that is 205, 905.6. So I'm going to pay $205,000 and that almost $206,000 over the course of the loan. Um, and how much did I borrow altogether? Suppose you borrow 130000 So I'm going to take 130000 and subtract it from this, right? So subtract that and you get seventy five nine oh five point six. So how much interest will you have paid by the end of the loan? You'll have paid two hundred five thousand nine hundred and five altogether. Subtract the principal and the interest paid is total interest is this number here okay the 75000 that is the total interest paid altogether right